What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's enjoying their long weekend and their 4th of July celebrations. If you're from the Coweta County area or you're thinking about making a move into Coweta County and you want to know what the best golf courses are to play in this area, then you came to the right spot. I've lived in Coweta County for all 25 years of my life and while I haven't been as much of an avid golfer for all 25 of those years, I'd say for the past 10 or so I've been playing golf all the time. So I've got a ton of experience on every single course in Coweta County and all the surrounding areas. So today we're going to talk about my top five golf courses in Coweta County. These are the courses that I think you should join or look into joining or just play if you're thinking about moving to the Coweta County area or you already live here and you're looking to get into the great game of golf. Before we start, I'm going to make a quick note because there's multiple courses in Coweta County, but some of them are a part of the same club. So for example, at White Oak, you have Old Course and Seminole, and at Cannon Gate, you have Lee and Rockmore. So for the purposes of this video, I am going to divide those up. We're not talking about the best clubs. We're talking about the best courses. So they will be ranked individually. So on that note, at number five, we're going to go with a course from Cannon Gate 1. And the course in the fifth ranking is Rockmore. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm kind of going off my own rules here because personally, I kind of like Lee more. But I think the general consensus is that Rockmore is a better course. And as far as the layout goes, Rockmore probably is better. It presents a couple more challenges, but I just like Lee more. But that said, we are going to put Rockmore in the fifth slot. Something to know about Canning Gate and pretty much all club corp courses, especially around the Coweta County area, is that none of them are long at all. And Rockmore is a great example of that. From the tips, Rockmore is just over 6,500 yards. It's a 70.9 rating and a par 72. So it's not super challenging. If you go and play Rockmore, make sure you try extra hard on number eight. It's a par three downhill over some water. And the back nine presents quite a couple challenges as well with some water creeping in on probably half the holes. At number four, we have Summer Grove, and this course could be so much higher. I really, really enjoy the layout of Summer Grove, and from the tips, it can actually be kind of long. This is another par 72 course that creeps up to about 7,000 yards from the tips with a 73.4 rating. So if you play it tipped out, it can present some challenges for sure. But if you move up some tees, then it gets significantly easier. Once again, I really enjoy the layout of Summer Grove. I think it's one of the best around. The greens are just super slow, and, and while the course is in pretty decent shape, I think four is a good spot for it. The membership here is affordable as well, so that is another plus for it. We're going to keep Summer Grove in the number four slot. At number three, we've got Seminole. Seminole is another course at White Oak, which is once again under the Club Corp umbrella. Another par 72 course and another shorter track, as we mentioned, most of the Club Corp ones are. This is just over 6,500 yards from the tips and has a 71.6 rating. So this course is pretty gettable, not super difficult, but a fun track for sure. And White Oak, in my opinion, is the best maintained courses in Coweta County. At number two, we're gonna go super private and put Noonan Country Club in the second spot. I've not played this course many times. I think I only played it two times in the last year or so. Another course similar to Summer Grove in the sense that it has a really good layout plays a little bit longer. Tee boxes, rough, fairways, all in pretty good shape. The greens have some spots where they're not as great. This is a challenging course, a good track, a fun course to play. It's just, again, super private, so it's kind of hard to get out there. This is a course that I think has the potential to be in the number one slot if the greens were redone completely. But for now, I think number two is a safe place for Noonan Country Club. And at number one, we're headed back to White Oak for Old Course. Old Course has a really, really fun layout and has holes that will punish you if you're not playing well, but also allows you to shoot a really good score if you're having a good day out there. Another par 72 course, just over 6,700 yards from the tip. So once again, not super long, but a little bit longer than some of the other ones around. This course is always pretty well maintained. The greens roll very true. It's a fun layout and it's one of those courses where you're not gonna get away with too, too many mistakes, but it's not so challenging to where you having to play perfect to shoot a good score. All in all, I would definitely encourage you to look into White Oak and look into the club court membership. If you are considering a move to Coweta, it is probably a little too expensive. Seeing that three of these five courses are club court courses, I guess I cannot say that it's not worth it. If you agree or disagree with this ranking, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what courses you guys like better. There's a couple that I didn't touch on, but I think I'm okay with the way this list played out. We used to have a course called Orchard Hills. That was a fun track. Probably wouldn't have made this list if we're being honest, but it was a really fun and, and pretty easy course. Rest in peace to Orchard Hills. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video. If you are thinking about making a move to the Coweta County area and want to know more about the golf scene or just about anything, please do give me a shout. I look forward to hearing from you. Once again, I hope you're enjoying your long weekend for the 4th of July and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.